Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole. What concerns do you have about your child? Never wants to wake up in the morning. She's so groggy and cranky. Okay. About how much sleep does she get at night? I don't even know. Her bedtime is 10, but when I go to bed at 11, she's still awake. All right. Mia, what time do you normally go to bed? I don't know, like 2. Oh, wow, that is very late. What are you normally doing during that time? Just scrolling through my phone. Okay. Mom, I would say go ahead at that time and take that phone away from her and hold her on to it until the morning time. I've done that before when she's in trouble and she just turns on her TV instead. She has a TV in her bedroom? That's right. Honestly, I'd take that whole TV out of her room. What? How's that going to solve our problem? Eliminating screen time at bedtime can help the body realize that it's time to sleep. I can't sleep without my TV on. It's true, I can't either. If it's background noise that you need, you could try a white noise machine. Hmm. Can't you just prescribe her something? <sighs> Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole. What concerns do you have about your child? Mine is always crying and upset about everything, and he often yells at me that he hates me. I'm so sorry to hear that. When did you first start noticing this behavior? About six months ago. Can you think of anything specific that happened six months ago that might have affected him in some way? Um, not really. I mean, that was around the time when my ex-husband and I finalized our divorce, but I can't think of anything that would have been bothering Owen around that time. Actually, the divorce could be the main cause of his change in attitude. Divorces typically have a huge impact on a child's life. What? So you're saying this is my fault? Not at all. I'm just thinking about how it might have made Owen feel. He should be relieved. His father is a drunk and abusive. I am so sorry you had to deal with that. Owen, though, at the age of five, probably does not understand all of that about his father. He might be experiencing a sense of loss. He should be grateful that this man is no longer in our lives. It makes a lot of sense that you would feel this way. But if we could try to take a step back and look at this from Owen's perspective for a bit. Hey. Owen, how do you feel about your good-for-nothing father? I miss daddy. How can you take your father's side in this? It's not about taking sides. This is a lot for him to process, just as it is for you. After we finish our appointment here, I'd be happy to walk you across the hall to our adult psychiatry department and see if we can get an appointment set up for you to help you work through everything that you've been through. Think I need to see a psychiatrist? You think I'm the crazy one here? You are definitely not crazy. But if you've been abused, talking to a counselor at least would probably really help you. No. I don't need to see a shrink, okay? This appointment is supposed to be about Owen, not me. What are you going to do about him? Well, from what I've heard so far, I really think Owen can benefit from therapy. There are counselors who are able to work with kids his age to help them identify and cope with their feelings and express them in a healthy way. Therapy? Like, I'd have to take into that on a regular basis or something? I don't have time for that. Can't you just prescribe him something? <sighs> okay, so we are done with all of our evaluations and we have diagnosed Liam with autism. Now, we have a lot of resources. Autism? That's not possible. It's a lot to process. No, I never got him vaccinated, so that can't be it. What do vaccines have to do with this? That's where autism comes from. Uh, that is a very common misconception, but there are actually no studies that prove that vaccines cause autism. You obviously haven't done your research. Um, I've been to medical school and I've completed residency. I assure you, I've done a lot of research. No, you doctors are all the same, just in it for the money. It's unfortunate that you feel this way. I assure you, there are tons of resources. This is really a lot to process, and I know 
you feel like this diagnosis could probably be this horrible thing, but it's not. And there are so many wonderful autistic people out there. I can get you connected with support groups and all sorts of resources to help you get through this. I can't believe you think my son's retarded. Well, actually, we do not use that word at all. He is definitely not what you just said. I'm going to need a second opinion. It actually wasn't just me that diagnosed him with this, but there were a number of professionals who were evaluating him in addition to just me. And we all came to the same conclusion. No, we're leaving. My son does not have autism. It actually wasn't even just me. There's a dog barking. No, we're leaving. My son does not have out.